When you first install Divi, out of the box, this is what the modules look like. Now, this is a big challenge because it's going to take you a long time for you to customize each and every module. But with the Divi Design Guide Pro, you can save hours redesigning each and every module because all these are pre-designed for you. Let me show you how to install it and how to use it. So step one is to create a brand new page. You can call it style or style guide. Click on use Divi Builder and then build from scratch. Step two is to purchase the Divi Design Guide Pro. If you're a lifetime member on Funnels to Income or Divi University, this is absolutely free. But I have a huge discount. Link to that is in the video description below. All right, so here it is. I've already gone ahead and downloaded it. You want to double click on it to unzip it. And now you have this DDG Pro 2.json. So this is the file you want to drag and drop over here. Next, and this is now step three. Click on Import Presets and then click on import layout. We're just gonna get rid of this one here. We're gonna save the page. Now to make things easier for us, we are going to leave this page open. Now let's start designing. So I've got a brand new page here. I'm just gonna call this home and then click on use Divi Builder. I'm gonna build from scratch. So the first thing we need here is a full width header. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button, go to full width. But what you're going to notice now is something really amazing. I'm gonna click full width header and notice what happens. I have different designs here pre-designed for me. So we have this one here. In fact, we have all these different ones. But if you want to know which is which, this is where you can look at this. This is header one centered. So if you come over here now, you can just go for header one centered. Or if you want any other different types, you can just come over here. And as you can see here, these are different versions. So here we go. I've chosen my layout. So all I have to do now is to customize it. So the first thing I can do now is to come over here to background and I can add my background image. So you can see here, the section is pretty much ready for me. So all I have to do is to make minor adjustments. So let's say this is a bit too dark. I can always come here and adjust this a little bit by adding a bit more light. Now let's go ahead and save. Let's say my next section here is my services. Click here on this plus button, go on regular. I'm gonna choose a three column layout. And in these layouts here, I'm gonna add a blurb. Click on that. Like I did before, I can just come here to my presets and look at how many of these are designed for me ahead of time. So I can choose blurb one and look at that design ready for me. Next, I can now come over here to image and icon, choose icon and look very carefully because this icon is already designed for me as well. So if I select this, look at that straightforward. Let's go ahead and save. Let's say you want to use a different type of blurb. I can just come over here, scroll down, choose my blurb. Now, if you want to take a look and see what the styles look like, just go back to that page. Remember, we saved a page and here it is. So all these are our different designs. So let's say I want to go with this one. This is blurb number three. I can just come over here. Now that I know what it looks like, click on this drop down, go for blurb number three. And let me choose my icon, activate that, scroll down and choose my icon. So there it is. Just like that, I was able to have my design here with all my presets ready for me. You don't have to design any of these modules because everything is designed for you. Now, let's say you want to add a button. You can just click here on this plus button, scroll down, choose your button. And again, this is the default one. But when we come to this drop down, we have our options. We have button one, we have button two. So let me go with button two. Just like that, I have my button. Now, at any point, if you want to change that, you can always come back over here, go to button one. And there we go, click on save. Now let's continue on. This time I'm going to choose my text module. So I'm gonna search for it and select. Now notice what happens when I start adding my headings. So I'm gonna click here on this drop down. So what I'm going to do next is going to amaze you. So I wanna highlight this, set this to a heading one, like that. I'm gonna to go to the next one, set this to heading two. I'm going, now, I'm going to now to go to the third one and set this to heading three. Now, notice what happens when I choose my preset. I'm going to come over here and choose text and look at that. Everything is pre-designed for me. So whatever website you're going to design using the Divi Design Guide Pro is going to be consistent and everything is going to look pretty much professional. 
Gone are the days of having text that is different on different, different types of pages. And also, because you're using the DV Design Guide Pro, your websites are going to be super fast because you are loading less CSS because of all these presets. You can use this on unlimited websites. So if you just purchased DV, this is your companion. Go ahead and start using it now. And I will show you some more tutorials on how to even make this more useful for you. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.